Hi, Vebo. How are you? Hey, hi, sir. I'm good. How about you? I'm, I'm good too. Thank you. So first of all, many, many congratulations to you for getting selected in multiple companies. How do you yep. feel about it? Yeah, I am feeling good. Like, uh, and thank you so much. Great. And I am feel, feeling glad at this time, like the market is a uh, flaky kind of, we can say, and recession over there. So I am feeling very grateful. <laughs> Great, great. Yes, currently the market is not as good as it used yes. to be prior to COVID. The market has changed. There are some opportunities, but with respect to automation, definitely good opportunities are there. So, um, in how many companies you have got selected? So, I have received offer from two MNC. Okay, and, great. And what is the percentage of the hike that you have got? Uh, so, the percentage... I got near about 50 to 60 percent out. Great, great. So how many interview rounds were there? So three rounds were there. Three rounds were there. Okay. And, and uh, were it face? All the three yeah. face to face. Yeah. Face to face. So you have to go to the company yeah. and uh, you have to give face to face interviews. Face -to -face. So can you tell me the structure of the interview rounds, like first round, second round, third round? What did they? So, yeah. In the first round, the they were asking me regarding the uh, manual concepts and all the testing technicals. And in the second round, they are going to ask more in deep into uh, API testing and uh, SQL and are you able to write a single query? So the query was related to the joins. So I wrote that query. And on that second round itself, they asked me to reverse my name. It's a Java question. And in the third round, there is a client round. Like there was a client round over there. And uh, so client was asking related to my projects, uh, what are the roles and responsibility I have in my current project, these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So in the client round uh, or in the other rounds, what was the duration? Was it one hour or was it, was it 30 minutes of interview? So the first one went for one hour. Okay. First round. Mm -hmm. And the second round takes uh, like it took it took around half an hour, 45 minutes. Okay. And then half an hour client round. Great. Great. So in the client round, uh, were you getting any questions from the technical perspective? So most of the questions were related to the Agile and Jira. Hmm. Uh, framework like so we like they are try like they have there was some uh, questions related to the uh, how I log the effect and uh, questions related to the Jira tool mm -hmm. okay and uh, how to upload test cases in the Jira tool is a okay. part of it okay Right. Fine. Would you be able to tell me a few of the questions that you have got from the different companies? Yes, and uh, in the first round or in the second round, I'll make a note of them. Mm -hmm. so let me do one thing. Let me share my screen. So whatever questions you have got in the first round or in the second round or in the client interview, we can discuss on those questions so that the people who are watching this video, they'll get an idea of what kind of interview questions are asked in the companies. Right. Yeah. So do you have them handy or if you can tell me five to ten mostly asked questions which you got in multiple companies? Started uh, from the basics like uh, what is the uh, process of uh, like STLC and SDLC you can say. Okay. Process of testing in my current project. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, then, testing. yeah, process of testing in my particular. Okay. And then they start asking about the sanity regression and oh, all the different the types of testing. Different types of testing we can see. And okay. how do you write test cases? And in the client round, you got how to upload the test cases. That was the question. Yes. Uh, how to raise a defect? How to raise a defect, and can we, uh, can we mention security in the 
Jira tool. Hmm. So this kind of person they. Hmm. Uh, okay. And they were more related to the uh, and in the first round it said like uh, the questions were related to the test case design techniques as well. So that was the round which went for one hour. Yes, sir. And over here in the first round itself, uh, she asked me to write test cases uh, for a uh, for a drop down. We can say for a drop down. Okay. For, for a drop down, uh, that was related to the language selection of an application, or we can say e commerce application. And she wanted to, uh, like, she want end to end test cases, like end to end test cases. End to end test case in the sense integration, regression, regression. smoke testing. So everything should be covered in those test cases. Exactly. Okay, great, great. Now, uh, with respect to the current market situation, like uh, most of the companies have got 90 days of notice period. So how an employee or how a candidate should apply into the companies when they have got three months of notice period? Because every company is looking for immediate joiner. So yes, how should how sh should they apply? What should be their approach? So their approach will be like, I will take the release from my current project. Mm -hmm. uh, once I got selected in your organization, we can say, and uh, I will try to release, take release early and uh, these kind of answers. Okay. So you can get relieved early, then it would be useful for you. Hmm. Okay. We can opt for the notice period buyout option as well. Correct. Correct. And uh, with respect to the resume, do you think uh, we should prepare a resume of three to four pages or one, 1.5 pages sufficient. What kind of things we have to add in your, in our resume to get the interview calls. So in resume, like resume should be of one and one and a half, uh, 1.5. pages. Okay. And uh, the main thing, like we have to update our knockery profile on daily basis. Okay. So to get more calls and more visibility in the, a knockery profile. So the performance of that profile will increase if we are going to update our profile on daily basis. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, the same HR connected with me and uh, she also looked into my LinkedIn profile as well once I got selected. And she double checked my knockery profile as well before releasing the offer letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so that means LinkedIn, Nokri, both profiles should be sync. Yes. Right. Sometimes yeah. people, what do they do is uh, they will add some different experience on Nokri profile. Yes. They'll add a different experience on Time Stop or Monster. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll add a different profile on Grassdoor and a separate yeah. profile altogether for this uh, LinkedIn. So if it does not sync, then it might not be able to you might not be getting trusted from your uh, employer, right? Correct, correct. So that's a very good point that you mentioned that the HR will see the LinkedIn profile. Okay, once you got the offer letter, then did the BGV process started or BGV will be starting afterwards? Uh, the background verification will start afterwards. Like I have provided, like I have to provide the documents, uh, leaving letters, and the experience letter of my current employer as well. Great. So I don't have as of now because uh, my joining date will be off mid of uh, November. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So uh, any any other thing you would like to share with the community with respect to the preparation? How should they do the preparation? What should be their strategy? Because most of the people are working these days. Yep. Yep, sir. Sir, most of the time, like all the a candidate must be aware of the technical terms, but uh, he and she was not able to uh, frame the answer in the interview. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest like uh, everyone should watch uh, your mock-up interview videos oh. and uh, over the YouTube. So how or taking help from Chat GPT as well. So what yes. I did, I took help from Chat GPT uh -huh. regarding the job descriptions and 
get my answers accordingly. Okay, okay. So how did you use Chat GPT? So Chat GPT. Chat GPT, like I have pasted uh, roles and responsibility or the job mm. description in the mm. Chat GPT tool, and I have provided my details. Like I have, I am having X number of employee uh, experience in, right. in 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 particular domain, and these are my roles and responsibility. Can you please frame the answer accordingly? Ah, okay. So Chat GPT provided a one liner uh, answer. We can say. Okay, great, great. So chat GPT or the AI tools will also help you to update the resume and yes. accordingly you can apply. You can also use the mock interviews that are uploaded on, on our channel. So what I have done is uh, the intention behind starting this channel was to assist the people for the interview preparation and to help, help them to get the jobs. Yeah, so, so, so automation testing interviews, API testing interviews, manual testing interviews, everything has been uploaded and we are uploading new videos, also new content on a daily basis so that people get help. They are prepared for the interviews and they don't get blank in the interviews. It's also right. important. Sometimes you know the answers, but yes. since you are working, you haven't prepared, you are unable to speak in an interview. Hmm. So those things are very important. But that's I'm so happy that the channel videos were useful yes, to you. So right. this means a lot, like uh, this yeah. channel videos. Great, great. Like, yeah, no. yeah. Okay, I think uh, Weber, you have added most of the points. You have covered most of the things, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm so happy to connect with you. And uh, definitely, I'm sure once this video would be uploaded on the YouTube, most of the people would be able to get the help, and they'll be motivated to get the job opportunities, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Weber, for coming today, for connecting with us today. And uh, we'll stay connected and let me know if any assistance is required from my side. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having Thank me. You.